pretty cool, right? It's crazy. What was that in, man? It's funny, I was like, kind of like, I was like, like Yo, where are we at? Go good, go good! That's crazy. If it comes back, he'll be, huh? he'll be on it. Thank Just you so much. Sean Sotero gave the Cypher podcast. No, unfortunately, we never connected. It's on sort of the same I'm sure I asked you about it or something. on the book and interviewing people for the book, including the people who are sitting to my left and to my right. Ooh. And so <laughs> with us today, to my right, your left, is Craig G. I'm just, who is, I'm just a regular guy. Just a regular guy. Yeah. He is a native of Queensbridge. He's been rapping professionally since the ripe old age of 12. And I'm 14 now. And he's only 14 now, yeah. so only two years. He's uh, the youngest member of the Juice Crew. Am I right about that? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Some, someone, someone Traj is like a year older than me. Okay, that's yeah. what I thought. Someone tried to tell me otherwise, and I was like, well, I, I, I hope I did my homework. And, and so um, you, uh, Craig G, he recorded singles for Pop Art Records and was featured on many uh, records that Cold Chillin' released before signing with Atlantic Records and subsequently becoming one of the fiercest battle rappers on the planet. Do you think that's a proper description? Never was a battle rapper. Never. I, I kind of got like I kind of got tossed into that. Okay. Actually, yeah. <laughs> it's actually like a, a hindrance to me, if you right. ask me. Like I'm I'm not trying to dispel what you're saying, yeah. but like I, I go to the studio and write these songs and pour my heart out in lyrics, and then I go to a show and they're like, rap about umbrellas, and I'm like, wait, what? I want you to hear this song. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, but I appreciate the love for it, but that's, I, I don't want, you know, yeah. yeah. Nothing rhymes with umbrella, so. Yeah, I can rhyme 20 Bella. things with umbrellas, but. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then to my left, to, which is your right, Master Ace, ladies and gentlemen. Born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Brownsville. Growing up Brownsville. in the Howard houses of, in Brownsville. The last to join the Juice Crew, he made his vinyl debut on the Marley Marl produced posse cut, The Symphony, along with Big Daddy Kane, Cool G Rap, and this guy right here. After, after recording his debut album for Cold Chillin', he moved on to Delicious Vinyl, where his group Masta Ace Incorporated made two albums. He has since collaborated with Ed OG, is one fourth of the group EMC, and has more recently put out an incredible album in 2018 with producer Marco Polo entitled Ooh. A Brooklyn Story. So, I don't care who's first or who's last, but I know y'all better rock this at the drop of a dime. Nice and done. Uh, little knitted hats. We're gonna start Fiona. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> uh, so, thanks everybody for coming out. Uh, thanks to Powerhouse Arena for hosting the event. And thanks to Fiona Bloom, Woo. the publicist extraordinaire for for basically prying people out of their apartments and forcing them to come into this building. And, and, uh, and uh, I'm, my name is Ben Merlis. I'm the author of this book right here, Going Off, The Story of the Juice Crew and Cold Chillin Records. And it just came out last week, and you can buy it down there and have all three of us sign it. And uh, so it's the first book I've ever written, so, you know, this is all kind of new territory for